A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Hey, my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. The first career mode of FIFA 23 is about to get underway. We're going to be doing it in episodes, of course, and it is going to be a Leicester City. I am so damn excited for this one. I mean, in real life, Leicester are not doing well, I think. They have one point as things stand. As I'm recording this, they have got one point. They're sitting in the bottom three. And it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. And it has a lot to do with the... The, the people that have left the club, I mean, Kasper Schmeichel, a long-term um, player for, for Leicester, and he up to left in the summer, he went to, I think it was Nice in France. Um, the likes of Yuri Tielemans wanting to leave and not signing a new deal. I mean, even Brendan Rodgers himself has come out and said that a lot of the players that are in the team thought that they were going to be getting moves in the summer, and that didn't materialize. And as a result of that, we are seeing the, the displays on the pitch and they are damn awful so it's a great it's going to be a great career mode we are taking on Leicester City we are taking it by the scruff of the neck and we're going to hopefully restore some balance to this team I mean they've got some good players as things stand one of the players I'm really excited to use of course is probably their best player at this moment in time and James Madison he is probably going to be a mainstay in this team for the foreseeable future and there's one or two others that I'm looking very forward to using, like Luke Thomas, for example, the left back, the young left back from the Youth Academy. I think he's going to be great for us. And I also think that we will be looking into the youth a bit more. I mean, Leicester, they don't really buy big names. They mainly scout in weird countries. Not really, but kind of. Um, France being one of them, not a weird country whatsoever, but they scout in France. They get some really good talents from France. I mean, we saw them pick up N'Golo Kante, for example. I think Wilfred Ndidi was also playing for a French team. I'm, I might be mistaken. But regardless, we will be trying to follow the, the model that Leicester have produced in the past to try and model our career mode off of it. Of course, guys, I am not going to be playing with uh, the first transfer window active. So if you can, if you would like to, of course, please get down in the comment section down below and let me know what potential players we could potentially sign. Please also try and keep in mind France, Belgium, those are the kind of areas I'll be looking to grab players from. And of course, we will be promoting players to our main squad from the Youth Academy. So if we if we get one or two maybe great prospects, that would be really cool. Um, but yes, very excited for this career mode. And um, yeah, as things stand, we are going to be playing with a 4-1-2-3 formation. Kind of what, what Leicester play with in real life. I mean, I know they very much switch their formations between a, a back five and sometimes they play with a two-man strike partnership. So maybe we might have a look at and see how things go with that. I think, I think it could be quite nice. But so many of these players that we have in this team are so versatile. I mean, Madison, I'm going to convert him into a right wing. I think it's very necessary for him to... Be put in the team and because we won't be playing with the natural cam position i think the likes of madison on the right allowing for him to be quite a menace crossing from from that right hand side i think it could be quite quite nice it would be a revelation some might say and i mean also jamie vardy he is at the the well, he is in the twilight of his career so hopefully we can Give him a, a great send-off. Maybe it might not be in season one, but it could be in season two where we don't see any more Jamie Vardy. So, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And um, the preseason went quite well. We won two out of our three games during the third game. Um, the boys were in good form, and I think uh, heading into the season, we're in high spirits. Of course, we don't have the strongest team. Danny Ward is not the greatest goalkeeper. Neither is Iverson, who is going to be our backup for at least this first half of the season. So we will be looking in January to potentially bring in a goalkeeper. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this as realistic as possible. So I'm not going to go and spend the full 72 million plus that we have um, in January. Cause I mean, most teams do not do business in, in the, the, the January transfer window. So for us, I think a goalkeeper is necessary and anything over and above that can probably wait until 
the, the summer window, which I think and I hope we've got some big plans. I mean, I will be revealing my shortlist fairly soon. And of course, throughout the season and through some suggestions from your, you guys, um, we will add to that list. So, yeah. But anyway, first game of the season is against West Ham. We, uh, we were very good. I, I'm not going to lie. We were very good in this one, but we just couldn't find the back of the nets. And eventually, James Madison, through no lack of his own, uh, taps it home for a 1-0 lead. And, um, yeah, it was such a big relief because we had dominated the stuffing out of West Ham. We were on top of everything that they had to throw at us. And, um, yeah, I, I just felt that a goal was needed and we deserved the goal. And then literally five minutes after we had scored that, uh, Ricardo Pereira brings down, I think it may have been Sufal. And, um, yeah, it led to Lucas Plaquetta damn well scoring potentially goal of the season in the first game of the season can you believe that he's he had just come on at this point as well so it was like wow david moyes take a bow because that was a fantastic bit of substitution work from yourself um great goal really good goal um i was a bit flabbergasted that he would go for something as audacious as that i mean it's kind of like a scissors slash bicycle kick i suppose and um yeah we were staring down the barrel of a 1-1 draw at home in our opening game of the season, but it was not to be as we had passed the ball around the box and Harvey Barnes, that's right, Harvey Barnes, another young superstar in the making, potentially for us, um, comes up huge and uh, we collect all three points, kind of getting away with one there because we were kind of wasteful with our chances, so very happy that uh, we managed to collect those three points. Um, also, we did get a few offers for some of our players, I mean, I have uh, put a few of our players on the transfer list because we will be looking for funds. Um, Amati, as you saw right there, he is going to be going to, um, I think it's Atalanta. Yeah, Bergamo Calcio. I think they're Atalanta. So he's going to go there. Um, another one is Dennis Preit. He is going to be going to Juventus. So a lot of Italian teams coming in for our players. I think Preit played for Torino last season on loan. So he was quite good for them. And I think maybe Juventus saw that and they're like, huh, we could potentially snag a, a bargain of our own here. So, yeah, a few of, a few of our players will be leaving. Um, and I think it's necessary because some of the squad is somewhat bloated and there are other areas that are so thin, it's, it's not great. But moving on, though, to our second game of the season against Everton at Goodison Park. It was always going to be a tough game, but Harvey Barnes managed to open the scoring for us with a power shot, by the way. Um, I don't know if you guys really noticed, but the power shots are kind of cool, but at the same time, they are somewhat irritating. I don't enjoy the fact that the camera angle zooms in. It, it, it's just a bit of a frustration because it throws me off. I'm like there to time my shots, and then I see the zoom thing happen. I'm like, whoa, I don't understand. So, yeah. Also, another thing uh, that I, I added to the highlights was the crunching tackle on Alexi Wobi by James Justin. I mean, throughout this entire game, James Justin had Iwobi in his pockets. Like, there were a few other crunches that Iwobi experienced on uh, behalf of James Justin, but I, I just didn't add those in. But I thought it was just a fantastic little bit of a play from, from the, the young left back slash right back. I also have a problem with him being a right footed left back. I think potentially if we see Ricardo Pereira leave for some big money of course and we can't find a suitable replacement, I'm quite happy to convert James Justin to a right back but for now he will be our left back for the season and uh, we'll go from there but great goal from Jamie Vardy, great build up play as well. That's another thing I love about FIFA 23, you actually have to stem passes, string passes together, excuse me. And um, it was Madison to to our holding midfielder and um, just over the top to a very acrobatic and old Jamie Vardy. I was very happy with the nonetheless. And to be fair, it probably should have been more goals. Uh, we, we were very wasteful with our chances, just, yeah, taking pot shots at the end, but the points were in the bag at this point. And I was very happy, although the Edmonton fans, as you can hear the boos, they were not. But regardless, we are two for two, six points from six. Very happy with how things have gone. As you can see, Adenis Preet, he is leaving and going to Juventus. I can't believe I got a D um, on this deal. I thought like we, we did pretty damn well with, with the, the money that we got from, considering he is going to be a fringe player for us for the first half of the season, really, until he leaves for Juventus. So 
Yeah, I kind of don't agree with these ratings at times. I mean, the, the Amati one, they gave me an F because I didn't get 600,000 extra. Like, what? The actual man? Can we, can we just take a moment, you know? But anyways, we move on. Third game of the season. We've had a very tough start to our season, by the way. West Ham, um, Everton, and now Man City. Really? At least it's Man City at home. So we do have the home support on our side. We've gone, uh, big call, big call. We've gone with a big change up front as uh, Jamie Vardy is on the bench in this one. And Daka starts. Now I thought, you know, having Daka go head to head with uh, the Man City defense and his pure raw pace could definitely do a bit more damage. And to be fair, it did. It did in this one. Although our chances were very thin, to be fair. Yeah. We, we didn't create that many chances as what we normally did. And might I add, our defense was incredible. It was absolutely fantastic. Johnny Evans did a fantastic job marshalling our back four, as well as Danny Ward. I mean, he, he had a few good shouts for, for some good uh, interplay between our two center backs and himself. Great composure on the ball. And. Um, yeah, we, we were very good in that first half, controlled City really, and coming out of the second half we created two early chances but unfortunately we were unable to find the back of the net. And then we put a big one, we landed a big blow to Man City with a massive sliding tackle from Ke on Kevin De Bruyne. And um, yeah, the the Belgium centre-back Wurtz phase on uh, the Belgium international himself, Kevin De Bruyne, Mr. Belgium some might say. But I, yeah, Jamie Vardy comes on, we made a few, I think it was like four subs, and they seem to all click in time as Jamie Vardy would find himself on the score sheet late, late in this one. I was extremely satisfied with that finish, elite finishing. Form is temporary, class is permanent, well, I think there's something to do with age as well because he still got it at 36 years of age. Jamie Vardy has still got everything about his game. I mean, that is an immaculate finish. And it's an, it's a finish that gets us all three points. Very happy. There we go. I'm, I'm just telling Pep he's a bit of a fraud because he couldn't come and beat Brom Squad. And uh, the King Power is very happy. And I'm very happy with those results. So to, be, to begin our, our career mode, we are three for three. Can I just say? So, yeah. Fantastic start to career mode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. Hit the sub button if you are new to the channel and episode 2 will be out relatively soon. Until the next time guys, enjoy, have a great day, I'm out.